Today's Tuesday, which means patch note day. Now, some of these patch notes are more so confirmations of the PBE that we had earlier, but there's a few new things, including quite a major change to the Vandal, Phantom, and Spectre. So let's get straight into it. So starting from the top, I'm going to be reading the patch notes. Hey everyone, it's Joe Allen here. Our agents and weapons team have been hard at work on some minor and major changes for a few of our favorite agents and weapons, including Chamber, Viper, the Shorty, and the Frenzy. We've also made a few updates to Pearl's B site. As always, let us know what you think about all the updates in patch 6.11 have fun so what's nice about the official patch notes is we actually get input from the developers or, or the the workers rioters themselves which may which add context to a lot of the changes so again starting from the top agent updates breach rolling thunder which is his X. Warning visuals have been updated to provide a clearer edge to the ultimate area of effect. This should make it easier to understand when you will and will not be hit by the ultimate. Moving on from there, Chamber. And the developer says, Chamber has taken a backseat in overall pick rate after the last round of changes in patch 5.12. At the time, we reduced Chamber's sphere of influence significantly. We're also looking to put more power into his ability to lurk and give him more flexibility within his setups. Rendezvous, weapon equip time after post teleport lockout from 0.7 seconds to 0. It is now instant. Trademark, which is a C. Disable range increased from 4000 to 5000. Trap arm speed reduced from 4 second to 2 second. Tour de France, or <laughs> Tour de Force, his ultimate firing rate increased by 15%. I can't wait to actually try these today. I think the chamber changes are actually really promising, but I, I gotta play with it uh, and I gotta see high rankers play with it. That's the only way we're actually gonna get any substance on if they're effective. But from there, we have Viper. Uh, the developers say the Viper change below is meant to both create more explicit downtimes when playing around her utility and address the effects uh, of Viper and Harbor's vision blocking. We want to ensure Viper and Harbor can be competitive independently while also allowing room for teams to explore strategies that can counter them. This change retains Viper's power moments while her utility is active, but asks you to be more precise on when to use it, giving attackers more agency and value in baiting out her fuel and defenders a larger window to play around it during retakes. It also creates some moments of downtime when Harbor and Viper cycle their walls. As always, we'll be watching how these changes play out in the coming months and evaluating if any further updates are needed. In case you don't know, her fuel regeneration, uh, reduced regeneration per second uh, from 5% to 3.3%, and the to regenerate to the max fuel once empty, it used to be 20 seconds, it'll now take a full 30 seconds. So that's actually a massive hit, 33%. Uh, slower on, on that regen is quite crazy, to be honest. Um, furthermore, we have miscellaneous. So when hit by concussing abilities, Yoru's fake out can now be visually affected, making it better. It's, it's technically a buff. The timing of Omen from the Shadows X voice line will come out quicker. Uh, Sova's cape dynamics were redone and smoothed out while still maintaining a silhouette close to his body to not give away enemy position. Wait, they, they changed Sova's cape? I want to see that. We've cleared up some of the code related to trajectory uh, grenade-like projectiles, such as Sova's Shock Bolt and Recon Bolt and Brimstone's Incin Incinidary, which is supposed to help bugs. Gameplay systems uh, were also updated. Combat report now shows allies dazed in addition to enemy dazed for all concuss concuss abilities. So you know how you'll know when you flash your your allies or how many people you flash on, on the little report. You'll now know how many people you've dazed on your own team, which is great for the irons. Uh, performance optimization in observer mode when frequently switching between agents who are using abilities. Also really big for me who does custom games. Uh, tidying up font systems. Uh, please report any issues. Okay, that's just all bug stuff. Then there's the map updates, which is Pearl. Uh, this is what they have to say about all those Pearl changes, which is actually pretty massive. <laughs> We've felt that Pearl's B site has been problematic due to how difficult the site is to hold as a defender in conjunction with the amount of strong post plant options available to attackers. With that in mind, we wanted to get a smaller scale update out before champions to address those concerns. Adjusted the B ramp screen and removed the attacker cubby. Um, the screen on B ramp was provided was providing a lot of mix up pressure and had proven hard to deal with on retakes. We've made the screen shorter and replaced the ramp with a jump up. This should make the position more committal and more predictable to deal with. We've also removed the attacker ramp cubby as well. This reduces the number of positions to hold the long plant from and it makes this space more vulnerable to flanks. 
Furthermore, adjusted B-site screen, and they have to say, what Riot has to say about that is, we're adjusting B-site screen to give more options to defenders. We've extended the screen to create a larger pocket to play from, added a non-penable section, added a stack of crates to give defenders a new mix-up option, and moved everything closer to B-ramp to allow more utility to fit there. Smokes, sage walls, etc. So there's a lot of new things that are going to be happening over here on the B-site screen. Adjusted a new cubby in B Hall. The new cubby gives defenders another position to play from. This provides extra space for defenders to reposition against incoming utility and it creates a new angle to contest B Link or the common long plant spot. They've also widened the pillar on B site. Adjusted the size of B site pillar to give you a little more room to work with. This should also reduce the likelihood of getting spammed. Also like that. Weapon updates, weapon accuracy on ascenders, zipline ropes. What Riot has to say about that? Um, we've adjusted the weapon spread on ropes across most weapons to make combat efficiency while on ropes a touch more difficult. This should allow combat on ropes to be viable in close range scenarios, which we feel is important to make them a viable map traversal tool, but much less often will it be a good choice in medium to long range engagements. Ascender's minimum spread on ropes increased to 65% of the walking spread. Here are some of the numbers in case you'd like to read them. I don't wanna go through every single one. From there, we have the shorty. We know the shorty received a massive nerf and this is what Riot has to say about it. We like that the shorty has found a viable role in the game, though it has proven to be too reliable and accessible. We're increasing the price to make purchasing the shorty a more thoughtful decision throughout the course of the game, while the damage adjustments require more accuracy to get one-shot kills against armored opponents. The reserve ammo adjusted from 10 to 6, price adjustment from 150 to 300, damage at no falloff adjusted 12 to 11, damage at first step falloff 7 meters adjusted from eight to six so yeah this <clears throat> I've mentioned it before this is a massive nerf to the shorty I'm not gonna get too into it again because I, I have before but yeah frenzy riot says the frenzy has been more potent at long ranges than we'd like the spread which is the error and recoil changes will make long-range fights tougher while retaining much of the frenzy's short-range power minimum spread increased from 0.45 to 0.65 spread curve adjusted maximum spread reached in five bullets instead of six recoil pitch curve adjusted maximum recoil will be reached in five bullets instead of six total recoil is lowered to compensate the next thing here is actually uh, pretty okay this this one's crucial uh, so the next one's called error power so this is what riot has to say Error power, also known as center biasing for us, is a tool we utilize to reward accuracy by biasing shots towards the center of the crosshair. While this system is functioning as intended for stationary firing, it's been unintentionally aiding firing while on the move. We've significantly reduced center biasing in these movement sta states. Shots fired while moving are now almost uniformly random within their spread cone, meaning that fewer of these shots will precisely land on target. Even so, run and gun and jump shooting kills will still happen, and we think these kills are healthy in close range contacts with the right weapons. But this air power adjustment should help to reduce their frequency a moderate amount, particularly at longer ranges. These are the exact recoil adjustments. For a handful of weapons, we've increased vertical recoil while firing on the run. This makes the weapons feel less controllable in this state and should reduce, and should reduce the number of incidental run and gun kills. So this is the first nerf to the Phantom Vandal, but it's not the last. Vertical recoil multiplier while running. Phantom 1.5 to 1.8. Spectre 1.5 to 1.8. Vandal 1.5 to 1.8. Frenzy 1.25 to 1.5. Phantom Vandal and Ammo Reserve. This one is so weird. We wanted to inject more decision making when, mall, when wall pending common spots or blind firing through smokes with the Phantom and Vandal. We'll keep a close eye on the adjusted ammo reserves for these guns to make sure these weapons are still able to deal with shootables like Sage's Wall and Harbor's Cove. The Phantom Reserve ammo adjusted from 90 to 60. The Vandal Reserve ammo adjusted from 75 to 50. It doesn't take a genius to know that's not even an equal adjustment. It means that the Vandal was reduced technically by a percent less than the Phantom. That's kind of insane. It's actually kind of insane. The Phantom was reduced by 33% 
and the Vandal less than that because the Phantom lost 30 bullets. 30. 30 bullets. While the Vandal uh, lost 25 bullets. It, it's kind of... This whole idea is kind of actually insane. 60 bullets on the Phantom? Damn, dude. 60 reserve ammo. It's actually a massive change to the pacing and gameplay of both these guns. Sure, it seems minor, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It depends who you are. But the, the, the less... Like, the fact that we can't spam as much on the common spots or through smokes means ratting, literally ratting, got a small buff. Smokes got a small buff. Um, playing differently, all these little different angles where you'd rat or try to sneak past or, or hide, got a small buff. It means that the enemy is going to have, have to be more thoughtful and using utility instead of only using the ammo. That's, it also gives strength back to the Ares and Odin in which their purpose is to clear these spots. So that is actually insane. The, the rest are bug fixes, gameplay systems, and social. So we're going to end it off there. Let me know what you think. I think these are massive though.